Hello and welcome to this very quick video. This is to show you a little quirk of the Free Sky radios with OpenTX. So this is the Tyrannus, the Horus, the QX7, the X9D, X9D Plus, whatever you want to call them. Now this has come from one of my Patreons, so thank you to all of you that have made the effort and joined the Patreon and support what I do here on the YouTube channel. Uh, Tom was asking whether or not you can copy a receiver bind to a new model. And I'm going to show you how that actually works because there's a couple of interesting little implications here. Now we're actually going to use this QX7. This is running OpenTX version 2.2. So it's the latest and greatest version of that. And the X8R is also on the latest version as well. Now for those of you that remember, on this radio I created a ton of different models. And we're going to use these to kind of show you how this works in practice. So let me show you how this actually works. So we've got a number of models here, and at the moment we're on plane, so let me show you how this is set. If I go down to the bottom, you can see we're using the D16 protocol, we're connected to the receiver, and the receiver number is 02, and you have the options for bind, set the range, set your fail safes. Now we have a lovely connection here, a nice green light on the receiver to show that that's all working. Now let's come out of here and choose another model with a different receiver ID. So let me choose quad and select that. And then let's go and have a look at how it's set up. Now we've lost the connection to the receiver. You can see that by the red flashing light. If I go and have a look at the receiver number, it's 03. And typically the receiver number, you try and keep it unique and actually matching the model memory that the model's in. But if I edit this and change it to be the same, it's going to warn me the ID is already used. But if I ignore that and still set it to 02, if I just leave it here for a second, what will happen, keep watching the receiver, it'll go green and there we are. We are connected, completely different model memory, completely different set of setups, could be completely different fail-safe settings as well and we have connected to the receiver. So if I just go back into quad and actually change this back to 03, and as soon as I say OK and come out of that, we'll have lost our connection to the receiver because the receiver numbers don't match. So that is what the FR Sky system is using to find and bind to the receiver. Whenever you're copying models around or you're using a model memory that's been supplied to you by somebody else, always make sure that the receiver ID is unique and I'd always make sure that it matches the model memory number that you're using that way you're guaranteed to keep everything in line and not get into trouble. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video and particularly for watching right to the very end. We try and release a video on Tuesday and Friday and sometimes we'll release one or two extra ones in a week as well. All of the videos on the channel are organised into easy to use playlists so do have a look in there because if you're interested in a subject we organise all the videos on that subject so you can find them easily all together in one place. If you like what we're doing then please like and subscribe and tell others about the channel so they can come and join as well. We're available in all of the usual social media places, particularly in places like Instagram, Twitter, and we also share all of our 3D designs on Thingiverse.